Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of triangles. This is standard 6.8a in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 24 off the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So this is kind of a strange question. We've had many questions in the past on this standard, but it's never been tested in quite this way. So we need to find three side lengths that can form a triangle. Okay, well, I've got six and eight, 14, seven, 11, and five, and that's it. No pictures, no visual reference. Now, if we know the triangle inequality theorem, we can finish this in about 30 seconds. And I'll talk about that at the end. But let me show you, in case you had no idea what you what you were wanting to do, you could play around with the ruler a little bit. Now, it's not the most intuitive tool because getting it to move around the screen can be a little bit of, of a pain because it kind of hides behind the graph. But let's just take this, this, you know, this first set, right, six. So I could draw a line of six centimeters, and I can say, all right, so that's going to be one endpoint. But then I need to use this ruler, and I want to try to, you know, maybe do one that is, uh, if I want to do that eight, I'm going to need to probably move it almost vertically. So I'm going to try to move this over here, rotate it, right, and I'm going to try to get it to be right here. And that's going to be eight. So I'm going to do almost a 90 degree angle, not quite. Okay, so right there. Now here's the question is, can I get a 14 centimeter line to connect the two? So I don't necessarily need to draw it, right? I just need to kind of measure it and look, 14 is going to be way down there. So that is, that is not going to work. So maybe uh, if I draw my second line a little bit, there's eight, I'm going to make it more of an obtuse angle. Okay. So I'm going to do that. Now I need to try to uh, rotate it and let's measure it here. Okay. So it goes to right about there and you see the 14 is still too long. So let's try one last time. Let's try a different angle, more obtuse. The first one was six, right? I'm going to try this eight. Let's see what happens here. And you see that 14 is going to be kind of close, but it's not quite going to reach because it's a little bit too far. So here's the thing. I could do this for a long time, and I'm still not going to have much uh, luck simply because we don't really have the tools here designed to do this. And so uh, let's see if we can figure out a better way to solve this. Because quite honestly, I could sit here and draw and draw and draw, but it's going to be very difficult to use the ruler. So let's go to what I was talking about, the triangle inequality theorem. So you might be able to stumble across uh, the correct answer using the ruler, but as you can tell by that demonstration, it's not the most useful tool because the ruler hides behind the grid. You can't get it to be on top of the grid. So what this means is that um, if two sides are always greater than the third side, then you have a triangle, right? So let's take A, six plus eight. You see how it equals 14? It always needs to be greater than 14. So A is never going to be a triangle because it just doesn't have long enough sides. Take a look at B, seven, plus 11 is greater than five, yep. Uh, let's try seven plus five is greater than 11. Yep, barely, it's 12, but it's good. And let's try five plus seven, is that greater than 11? Or let's do five plus 11, is that greater than the seven? Yeah, that's way bigger. So look, this is gonna be a triangle because any way you do it, two sides are always longer than the third. This 9 plus 9 is never going to be larger than 14, then, then 20, and then the 10 and the 4 are not going to be larger than 15, so that's why these are wrong. My answer here is B.